across the United States. Nearly 40 million children and adults live in communities where a healthy diet is out of reach. SnapEd plays a key role in improving these statistics. Among SnapEd providers, the 19 higher education institutions across the country designated as 1890 historical black colleges and universities are particularly well positioned to serve these needs. 1890s plays a crucial role in supporting historically excluded individuals, those most impacted by obesity and other diet-related diseases. While all 1890s are eligible to receive SNAP-Ed funding, only nine currently do, with two recently receiving funding in fiscal year 2022. The study found the following. 1890s have a proven record of success in reaching and effectively improving the health behaviors of individuals and environmental supports in the communities they serve. Among the 1890s that do receive SNAP-Ed funding, many receive smaller grants than the 1862s and other SNAP-Ed implementing agencies. Some states do not have an open application process for applying for SNAP-Ed. Agreements with SNAP-Ed state agencies and 1862s may limit geographical reach for 1890s in some states. Some states do not receive 100% of the required state match for federal land grant funding. 1890s have successfully demonstrated their ability to improve the lives of the nation's most vulnerable, yet too often do not receive equitable funding from programs such as SNAP-Ed. Efforts to increase the number of 1890s that administer SNAP-Ed will lead to improving equity and reducing the incidence of diet-related disease. To accomplish this, a number of barriers need to be addressed. State agencies, 1890s, and 1862s should work together to develop processes for equal access to financial resources and technical assistance. State legislators also must provide a required match for all land-grant universities. Most 1890s have been deprived of SNAP-Ed funds and the opportunity to participate in equitable practices for administering the program for far too long. By working together on implementing the recommendations set forth in this report, these complementary entities can better serve our community's most vulnerable populations and ensure that everyone has a seat at the table.